Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 14 today, verses 13 and 14. The people are caught here in this nook up against the Red Sea. Here comes Pharaoh in the chariots. And yikes. Oh, the, this is, uh, well, let's go. Verse 13. But Moses said to the people, now the people were moaning and complaining. But Moses said to the people, do not fear. Stand by and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see them again forever. The Lord will fight for you while you keep silent. Now let's pause here and think about this. Moses is trying to encourage the people. They were just talking about we should have stayed in Egypt making bricks. And he says, hey, the Lord will fight for you. Basically, you're not going to have to do anything here. What you need to do is trust in the Lord and follow his direction. Sometimes people say you just need to trust in the Lord and that's all. No, that's, that's not all. You need to trust in the Lord and follow his direction. But here he says, you know, the Lord will fight for you. A lot of times we try to fight our battles ourselves, and we get into trouble. We get into trouble. You can't win against demons that are stronger than you if you're all alone. But we want to let the Lord fight our battles for us. Our part is to exercise faith. Our part is to exercise faith and follow God's direction. And he will come through for us. So what will they do? Well, we'll see tomorrow morning. But uh, it's a choice here of faith or unfaith. It's a choice of submission or activity. And sometimes our activity is going to be, a lot of it's going to be watching God do it for us. But we need to be ready to follow his, his lead and do what he instructs us to do. So they're going to have to do something that God is going to instruct them to do. And we'll carry on with this tomorrow morning.